Introduction Black holes have long been a source of fascination and mystery for astronomers and physicists. They are objects that are so dense and massive that they warp the fabric of space-time around them, creating a gravitational field so strong that nothing can escape its pull. In this video, we will explore everything about black holes, including their formation, types and properties, as well as what is inside a black hole. Formation of Black Holes Black holes are formed when massive stars run out of fuel and collapse under their own gravitational pull. This collapse is so intense that the star's core is crushed to an infinitesimal point called a singularity, where the laws of physics as we know them break down. The gravitational pull of this singularity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape its grasp. The radius from the singularity where the gravitational pull becomes so strong that nothing can escape is called the event horizon. Types of black holes There are three main types of black holes, stellar black holes, intermediate black holes, and supermassive black holes. Stellar black holes are the most common type and are formed from the collapse of a single massive star. They have masses between 3 and 20 times that of the Sun and are relatively small, with diameters of only a few kilometers. Intermediate black holes are rarer and have masses between 100 and 100,000 times that of the Sun. They are believed to form from the mergers of several smaller black holes. Supermassive black holes, on the other hand, have masses between 1 million and 10 billion times that of the Sun. They are found at the centers of most galaxies, including our own Milky Way, and are believed to form from the merging of several intermediate black holes. The origin of these supermassive black holes is still not entirely understood, and researchers are actively studying them to learn more about their formation. Properties of Black Holes Black holes have several properties that make them unique and fascinating objects of study. One of these properties is their gravitational pull. Black holes have an enormous gravitational pull, which means that anything that comes within their event horizon is inevitably sucked in and crushed by the singularity at the center. Another property of black holes is their temperature. Despite being objects that absorb all matter and energy, black holes actually emit radiation in the form of Hawking radiation. This radiation is named after Stephen Hawking, who first proposed its existence in the 1970s. According to Hawking's theory, black holes emit radiation due to quantum fluctuations near the event horizon, causing pairs of particles and antiparticles to be created. One of these particles falls into the black hole, while the other escapes, carrying away some of the black hole's energy in the process. Will the time gets reversed in the black hole? One of the interesting consequences of black holes is that they have a significant effect on the flow of time. As an object gets closer to a black hole, time dilation occurs, which means that time passes more slowly for an observer near the black hole compared to an observer further away. This effect is a result of the extreme gravitational forces near the black hole, which warp the fabric of space-time, causing time to slow down. Inside the event horizon of a black hole where the gravitational pull is so strong that nothing can escape, the effects of time dilation become even more extreme. The closer an object gets to the singularity, the more time slows down. And at the singularity itself, time is thought to come to a complete stop. However, it is important to note that time reversal does not occur inside a black hole. While time may slow down and eventually come to a stop at the singularity, it does not reverse direction. Time reversal, where the flow of time is completely reversed, is a hypothetical concept that is not currently supported by our understanding of physics. While time dilation occurs near and inside black holes, resulting in a slowing down of time, time reversal does not occur. The laws of physics as we currently understand them do not support the concept of time reversal, and therefore it is not thought to be a phenomenon that occurs inside black holes or anywhere else in the universe. What is happening to the matter that falls into the black hole? When matter falls into a black hole, it is subject to the immense gravitational forces of the black hole, which cause it to be pulled inward and compressed to extreme densities. The matter forms an accretion disk around the black hole, which is a rotating disk of gas and dust that orbits around the black hole. As the matter in the accretion disk spirals towards the black hole, it heats up and emits large amounts of radiation including X-rays and gamma rays. These emissions can be detected by telescopes and provide valuable information about the properties and behavior of black holes. 
Once the matter in the accretion disk gets close enough to the black hole, it passes through the event horizon and is lost forever. At this point, the matter is crushed and absorbed by the singularity, which is a point of zero volume and infinite density at the center of the black hole. This process is known as spaghettification, as the matter is stretched out into long, thin strands as it approaches the singularity. Inside the black hole, it is thought that the matter becomes part of the singularity, a region of space-time where the laws of physics as we know them break down. The singularity is thought to be a point of infinite density, where the laws of physics no longer apply, and our understanding of the universe breaks down. Therefore, it is impossible to know with certainty what happens to matter inside a black hole. Matter that falls into a black hole is compressed and heated in the accretion disk, emits radiation, and is ultimately absorbed by the singularity at the center of the black hole. The singularity is a point of infinite density and is thought to be a region of space-time where the laws of physics break down, making it impossible to observe or describe the conditions inside the black hole. Why black holes gets larger when they absorb matter? Black holes grow in size as they absorb matter through a process known as accretion. As matter falls into the black hole's gravitational field, it begins to accelerate and heat up, forming a disk of hot gas and dust called an accretion disk. As the matter in the accretion disk moves closer to the black hole, it spirals inwards and releases large amounts of energy in the form of radiation, such as X-rays and gamma rays. Some of this radiation is emitted away from the black hole, while the rest is absorbed and heats up the surrounding gas in the accretion disk, causing it to glow brightly. The process of accretion causes the black hole to gain mass, which in turn increases its gravitational pull. As a result, the black hole becomes more effective at capturing additional matter from its surroundings, which further increases its mass and gravitational pull. This positive feedback loop of accretion and growth can continue until the black hole reaches a mass limit beyond which its gravitational pull becomes so strong that it can disrupt the accretion disk and prevent further matter from falling into the black hole. The rate at which a black hole grows through accretion depends on several factors, including the density and composition of the surrounding gas, the size of the accretion disk, and the mass of the black hole itself. In some cases, black holes can grow rapidly, with their mass increasing by a factor of 10 or more within a few years. Such rapid growth is thought to be due to the presence of a large amount of gas that is funneled towards the black hole by gravitational interactions with other objects, such as stars or other black holes. Black holes grow in size when they absorb matter through the process of accretion. As matter falls into the black hole's gravitational field and forms an accretion disk, it releases energy in the form of radiation and heats up the surrounding gas. The increased mass of the black hole strengthens its gravitational pull, allowing it to capture more matter and continue to grow. The rate of growth depends on several factors, including the density and composition of the surrounding gas and the mass of the black hole itself. How long does it take matter to reach singularity after it passes through even horizon? Once matter passes through the event horizon of a black hole, it is effectively cut off from the rest of the universe and is destined to be consumed by the singularity at the center of the black hole. However, the amount of time it takes for matter to reach the singularity depends on several factors, including the size and mass of the black hole and the distance from the event horizon to the singularity. The rate at which matter falls towards the singularity is determined by the black hole's gravity, which increases as you get closer to the singularity. This means that matter falling into a smaller or more massive black hole will reach the singularity more quickly than matter falling into a larger or less massive black hole. The distance from the event horizon to the singularity is also a factor in determining how long it takes for matter to reach the singularity. In a non-rotating or Schwarzschild black hole, the distance from the event horizon to the singularity is proportional to the mass of the black hole. In contrast, in a rotating black hole, or Kerr black hole, the distance from the event horizon to the singularity is smaller than in a non-rotating black hole due to the effects of frame dragging. In general, for a non-rotating black hole, the time it takes for matter to reach the singularity after passing through the event horizon is proportional to the mass of the black hole. For example, for a black hole with a mass of 10 solar masses, 
It would take roughly 0.1 seconds for matter to reach the singularity after passing through the event horizon. However, for a supermassive black hole with a mass of billions of solar masses, it could take millions or even billions of years for matter to reach the singularity. It's worth noting that as matter falls towards the singularity, it becomes increasingly stretched and compressed by the immense gravitational forces, a process known as spaghettification. As a result, matter is gradually broken down into individual particles and radiation before being absorbed by the singularity. However, the exact time it takes for matter to reach the singularity is difficult to predict and depends on the specifics of the black hole and the matter falling into it. Are black holes going to lead us into another universe? There is currently no scientific evidence to suggest that black holes can act as portals to other universes. While the idea of black holes serving as gateways to other parts of the cosmos has been explored in science fiction, it is not a concept that is supported by current scientific understanding. Black holes are regions of space-time where the gravitational pull is so strong that nothing, including light, can escape their grasp. The intense gravitational force causes matter to collapse into an infinitely small point at the center of the black hole, known as a singularity. This means that all the matter and energy that falls into a black hole is essentially lost from our universe and can never be retrieved. While there are various theoretical models of the universe that involve multiple dimensions or parallel universes, none of these models predict that black holes serve as gateways to other parts of the cosmos. In fact, the laws of physics suggest that information about the matter and energy that falls into a black hole is permanently lost, making it impossible to access or retrieve from another universe. While it is currently unknown what happens to matter and energy that falls into a black hole, there is no evidence to suggest that it leads to another universe or any other place outside of our own universe. Therefore, while black holes remain one of the most mysterious and intriguing objects in the cosmos, they do not appear to offer a means of accessing other universes. What is singularity? In astrophysics, a singularity refers to a point of infinite density and zero volume at the center of a black hole. At the singularity, the laws of physics as we currently understand them break down, and our understanding of space, time, and matter becomes uncertain. The singularity is the final destination for any matter that falls into a black hole. As matter falls into the black hole, it is crushed by the intense gravitational forces and compressed into an infinitely small point at the center of the black hole. This point is known as the singularity. The singularity is also characterized by its extreme gravitational pull, which is so strong that not even light can escape it. This is why black holes are called black, because they do not emit any light that we can see. It is important to note that the concept of a singularity is a mathematical prediction based on our current understanding of the laws of physics, particularly general relativity. However, the singularity is an area of active research and debate, and some physicists believe that it is a sign that our current understanding of physics is incomplete. In particular, some theories of quantum gravity suggest that singularities may not exist, and that the laws of physics may continue to hold even at the center of a black hole. Do we have proof other universes exist? Currently, there is no direct observational proof that other universes exist. The concept of multiple universes, also known as the multiverse theory, is a speculative idea that arises from certain theories in physics, particularly those related to the origins of the universe, such as cosmic inflation and string theory. The multiverse theory suggests that there may be an infinite number of universes, each with its own physical laws and properties, existing alongside our own. According to this theory, the universe we inhabit is just one of many, and the other universes are completely separate from our own, with no interaction between them. However, since these other universes are believed to be beyond the reach of our observations, we have no direct evidence of their existence. Instead, scientists rely on indirect observations, such as measurements of the cosmic microwave background radiation, to test and support the various theories related to the multiverse. Despite the lack of direct proof, the concept of the multiverse has gained popularity in recent years, particularly among theoretical physicists, as a way of reconciling some of the paradoxes and unanswered questions in modern physics, such as the nature of dark matter and the apparent fine-tuning of the universe's physical constants. While there is currently no direct proof of the existence of other universes, 
The idea of the multiverse remains an active area of research and speculation among physicists and cosmologists, as it offers a potential explanation for some of the mysteries of the universe that remain unresolved. What is the relation between multiverse and black holes? The concept of the multiverse and black holes are not directly related, but some theories related to the multiverse suggest that black holes may play a role in the formation and behavior of multiple universes. One idea related to the multiverse is known as the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, which suggests that every possible outcome of a quantum event actually occurs in a separate universe. According to this theory, black holes may create new universes by producing baby universes through a process known as eternal inflation. In this process, a black hole would act as a gateway to another universe, where it would form the seed for the formation of a new universe. Another idea related to the multiverse and black holes is the concept of the holographic principle. This theory suggests that the information contained in a region of space can be represented on the boundary of that region, much like a hologram. According to this principle, the information contained in a black hole could be represented on the event horizon, which would suggest that black holes could contain information about other universes. However, it is important to note that these ideas related to the multiverse and black holes are still theoretical and subject to debate and further research. Is there a way to escape a black hole when you are inside? As far as our current understanding of physics goes, it is not possible to escape a black hole once you are inside it. This is because a black hole's gravity is so strong that it traps all matter and energy that falls into it, including light. The point of no return is known as the event horizon, beyond which escape is impossible. Once inside the event horizon, the gravitational pull of the black hole becomes increasingly stronger, and any attempts to escape would require a velocity greater than the speed of light, which is not possible according to the laws of physics as we currently understand them. Furthermore, the intense gravitational forces near the singularity at the center of the black hole would distort and tear apart any matter that entered, making it impossible for any information to escape from within the black hole. It is important to note, however, that the concept of black holes and their behavior is still an area of active research, and our understanding of them may evolve as new discoveries are made. Some theoretical models of black holes, such as those involving wormholes or white holes, suggest the possibility of escaping from a black hole or even traveling to another universe. But these models remain speculative and have not yet been observed or proven through direct evidence. According to our current understanding of physics, it is not possible to escape a black hole once you are inside it. The intense gravitational forces would trap any matter or energy that enters, making it impossible to escape or communicate with the outside universe.